Have you ever looked up at the sky and wished for rain? For centuries humans have dreamed of controlling the weather. Today, that dream is a reality. We call it cloud seeding. Cloud seeding is a way to make clouds release rain or snow. It is a fascinating technology with the potential to change the world. Imagine a world where we can make it rain in drought-stricken areas. Think of the farmers who depend on rainfall for their crops. Cloud seeding offers hope. It can bring much needed water to these regions. It's like giving the clouds a little nudge to do what they already do. Cloud seeding is not just about making rain. It can also reduce hail damage. It can even help to clear fog in airports. This technology has the power to make our lives safer and more sustainable. How does cloud seeding actually work? The science behind it is simpler than you might think. It all starts with understanding how clouds form. Clouds are made up of tiny water droplets or ice crystals. These droplets need something to cling to in order to grow larger and heavier. This is where cloud seeding comes in. Scientists have discovered that certain substances can act as seeds for rain or snow. One of the most common substances used is silver iodide. Silver iodide has a similar structure to ice crystals. When released into clouds, it provides a surface for water droplets to freeze onto. Another substance used is dry ice, which is frozen carbon dioxide. Dry ice cools the air around it, causing water vapor to condense and freeze. These ice crystals then attract more water vapor, growing larger and eventually falling as precipitation. It's important to note that cloud seeding doesn't create rain out of thin air. It enhances the natural rain-making process. It's like giving the clouds a little boost. There are different ways to seed a cloud. The method used depends on the type of cloud and the desired outcome. Let's take a look at three common methods, static cloud seeding, dynamic cloud seeding, and hygroscopic seeding. Static cloud seeding is the most common method. It involves releasing silver iodide or dry ice into clouds from aircraft. The particles disperse through the cloud, providing numerous nuclei for ice crystals to form. Dynamic cloud seeding aims to boost the vertical air currents within a cloud. This is done by releasing large amounts of hygroscopic nuclei, such as salt particles, into the lower portions of the cloud. These particles attract water vapor, causing the cloud to grow taller and potentially produce more rain. Hygroscopic seeding, as the name suggests, uses hygroscopic materials that attract water vapor. These materials, often in the form of flares or rockets, are released into clouds to accelerate the formation of raindrops. Each of these methods has its own advantages and disadvantages. Scientists carefully consider factors such as cloud type, temperature and wind conditions when choosing the best method. Section 4. Cloud Seeding Around the World From Dubai to California Cloud seeding is not science fiction, it's happening right now all over the world. Countries facing water scarcity or seeking to manage rainfall patterns are increasingly turning to this technology. The United Arab Emirates, a desert nation, has been a pioneer in cloud seeding. They have invested heavily in research and infrastructure, even using drones to seed clouds. In 2024 however, they faced criticism when heavy rains caused flooding in Dubai. Many blamed cloud seeding but experts clarified that it merely enhances existing clouds not creates rain out of nowhere. China has one of the largest cloud seeding programs globally. They use it for various purposes from alleviating droughts to clearing smog in Beijing. The United States has also been using cloud seeding for decades, primarily in western states facing water shortages. Australia utilizes cloud seeding to boost rainfall for hydropower and agriculture. European countries like France and Spain use it to increase precipitation, supporting agriculture and ski resorts. Section 5. The Future of Cloud Seeding – Innovation and Responsibility Cloud seeding holds immense promise for the future. As technology advances we can expect to see more innovative and efficient methods of cloud seeding. Drones equipped with advanced sensors could target specific clouds with greater precision. New seeding materials, potentially more environmentally friendly, are being developed. However, with great power comes great responsibility. The potential impact of cloud seeding on the environment needs careful consideration. Concerns about the long-term effects of silver iodide on ecosystems and the possibility of unintended consequences on weather patterns in other regions need to be addressed. The ethical implications of manipulating the weather also warrant discussion. Who decides when and where to seed clouds? How do we ensure equitable distribution of water resources? 
These are complex questions that require international cooperation and responsible governance. As we venture further into the realm of weather modification, transparency, scientific rigor, and ethical considerations must guide our every step. Cloud seeding has the potential to be a powerful tool for good, but only if we use it wisely and responsibly.